Pierre will get the carry on the first play, and here's Sean Sellers dropping him at the line of scrimmage and bringing him down for a loss. And Sean Sellers, who has missed the last three games, makes his presence known immediately. On second and four, out of the shotgun, Nitty will pass, flow it out to the right side, and it's going to be caught for a first down up to the 46-yard line. Grabbing that immediately was the tight end, Josh Lebo. Leaves Bucktail with the third and seven here, Todd. No score in the first quarter as we wound four minutes off this first quarter clock. Three wide outs, more in a triangular formation, now a tight end. Lebo's going to go in the backfield. Long count by Nitty on third and seven at midfield. He's going to drop back to pass. Throats one over the middle, and it's a perfectly pass. Time pass that's catching break for a first down over the middle at the 33-yard line of Dartmouth. Two wide outs to the right side. One to the left at the 33 of Dartmouth. Going to be a rollout pass by Nitty. He's going to complete it over in the far sideline and tight roping the sideline down inside the Dartmouth 25. Down to the 20 is going to be the guy who just got his first start of the game. Bobby Kaslander with that catch, and that was uh, his first catch as well. After the step off second and 11, he was pressured here with Williams going down. As he looked to his left, back to his right, Sean Sellers. Did he come in there or was that Tracy Smith? I think it was Sean Sellers. No, Smith. it was Tracy. So Tracy is going to get the sack. Here is Williams back to pass. He's under pressure, steps up, now rolls to his right, has some room. Here he comes with a juke move and he's again, shoestring tackle by Evan Byers who raises his hand skyward. <laughs> here is Brandon, William Brandon Wesley in the game. And he'll have uh, Matt Del Morrow behind it. So a handoff to Del Morrow, and he will find a hole in the boundary. Here he comes to the near side. He'll bounce up to the Bucknell 45 and get blasted out of bounds at midfield. Here at the five yard line, here comes Williams back to pass, has time. Now he's going to be sworn, and he'll be dropped for a sack. 940 left first half, 7 0 Dartmouth. Bucknell with facing a big third and eight here. Looks like Dartmouth may blitz. In the shotgun is Williams. Drops back to pass. Now he's quickly under pressure and he'll stop, roll right, throw it. It's going to be complete. Great job by Caslander. Link 7 0 with 8.15 left here in this first half of play at Dartmouth. Wesley in the shotgun with two wide outs to his left. That's the wide side and one to his right. Then gets a great snap. Wesley steps up in the pocket, foots it deep down the near sideline. Here's Brake going up, and he has it! He has it! Inside the 25! Brake will be spun down at the Dartmouth 21 yard line! Here on a first and 10 pass play, Wesley will throw it near side, caught by Carter, will juke past a man at the 45 of Dartmouth, and finally be dropped out of bounds by that defender, Womack, at the 41. He's got a couple of points out of that, or one. Third and nine, blitzes on, Wesley to pass, throws it complete for a first down or very close to it at the 32 to break. The 12th play of this drive, looks like Bucknell will try for another field goal. Derek Maurer 0 for 1 today. This is gonna be a 32 yarder, hash mark right. This one a little bit more within the range Maurer's made from. That last one, the attempt was 40 yards, which would have been a career long. This one 32, it looks like is what it's gonna be. Snap is good, hold is good, and trying to cut the deficit to four is Maurer, and he will. He'll slice through the uprights, good. And Buckdell trails seven to three with 8.44 left in the third. First and 10 Bison at the Buckdell 31, trailing seven to three in the third quarter here in Hanover, New Hampshire to Dartmouth. In the shotgun, a delay handoff up the middle. Big hole for Del Moro. He'll break it to the 35. He'll spin at the 40 and he'll have a first and 10 Bison at the Bucknell 46 yard line. Oh, my almighty, what a hard run up the middle that time for little Matt Del Moro. Tackle made by Donahue for Dartmouth. Here comes Wesley, third and goal at the Dartmouth. 15 inside handoff, Del Moro runs hard to the two, runs hard to the one, runs hard to the goal line. And ladies and gentlemen, on a crisscross handoff, one Matthew Del Moro has given Bucknell the lead. Touchdown, your Bucknell Bison. The handoff went to the right. A gaping hole broke open to the left. And little Matty Del Moro puts the Bison on top, nine to seven. What a brilliantly drawn up and executed play for the orange and blue. 
Uh, going across the formation is Carrier to the right side in the shotgun with pressure on on third and 11. It's Williams. He has the ball knocked loose. It's a fumble. And at the 11, the Bison have come up with the ball. Oh, my almighty. Matt Johnson in there. Evan Byer is in there. And I think Tracy Smith forced the fumble. It's at the 11, first and 10. Bucknell leading 10 to 7 with 10 21 left. Here is Wesley in the pistol. Handoff draw to Williams. He'll lead past a man at the 10. Run right over a man at the 2. He will score. Oh, he scores. And he put the boot that time on the big Donahue kid for Dartmouth. Oh, my almighty. C.J. Williams said, see ya to the Ivy League's Big Green. A new quarterback is in. This is going to be Alex Park. He came in for a play earlier. He will go back to pass. He's under duress. He'll be sacked by Clay Yule. Oh, Yule came around the end and drops him. In the shotgun, here's Park. He's going to roll out of the pressure. He's going to be dropped and sacked again. Buckdale has a handful of sacks. John Sellers in on that play, along with Buckdale's Tracy Smith. They have a field goal kicker who's only two for nine this year, so they're going to go for it on fourth down and two at the Buckdale 23. Trailing with 2.50 left by 10 to Bucknell. This play could be the game here. Could well be. Park in the shotgun, peer to his right. Goes back to pass, looks downfield, throws it, it's touched and incomplete. It was touched by Bucknell's Demetrius Baldwin Youngblood. Has it teed up at his 35. He kicked it to the right last time. He'll kick it to the right again. It's a good kick. Ball is loose. Who has it? They are trying to unstack the pile at the Dartmouth 48, and it is Bucknell ball. The Bison able to come out there with the hands team. And was that Evan Byers who came up? No, Lee Marvel.